Come join Rosie and me, along with our friends Wendy and Tom, Christine and Myron, and Dale, as we cruise Rhapsody of the Seas, February 16th to the 25th, 2018. Our cruise was round trip from Tampa and included ports of call of Key West, Cozumel, Belize, and Costa Maya. Friday, February 16th, we flew from Milwaukee to Tampa via Southwest Airlines. When we arrived, we checked in to the Hilton downtown. We had drinks by the hotel pool with our friends Wendy and Tom. We then shopped for cruise supplies and had drinks at the Anchor Bar. The four of us had dinner at 211, the hotel restaurant. The food was very good. Saturday, February 17th, our friends Christine and Myron arrived. We had drinks and lunch at the pool. In the late afternoon, we were back at the Anchor Bar for pre-dinner drinks. Dinner was at Bavaro's, where the seventh member of our cruise group, Dale, joined us, along with local friends, Linda and Don. The food was excellent, and we all had a spectacular evening. Good morning! Sunday, February 18th, it's cruise day. We arrived at the port to board the ship. But before we board the ship, let me tell you a little about the ship. Rhapsody's maiden voyage was May 1997. The ship underwent a major refurbishment in 2012 and again in 2016. The ship has a capacity of 1,098 passengers. The ship features a two-story dining room, a large buffet, and three specialty restaurants consisting of Izumi, Giovanni's Table, and Chops. Rhapsody has a fully enclosed indoor pool, the Solarium, and a very large outdoor pool area. The ship has a rock climbing wall and a six-story centrum. At the center of the ship you will find shops, a casino, a photo gallery, and ice cream and coffee shops. If you want a bar, there are many to choose from. No one goes thirsty on this ship. Now that you know about the ship, take a look at the view from our balcony. Let's get this cruise started. The lifeboat drill was at 3.15. Sail away was at 4 o'clock. We met for drinks in the Diamond Lounge, and with this group, we needed our own naughty button. Just past 6 o'clock, we witnessed a spectacular sunset and sailed under the Skyway Bridge. At 7 o'clock, it was time for our pre-dinner show, and at 7.45, it was time for dinner for our group of seven. Good morning! Monday, February 19th, we're on our way for an 11 o'clock docking at Key West. But first, Rosie and I will walk. There it is. I will lead our group of seven on a highlight tour of Key West. A trolley took us from the ship and dropped us off near the customs house. We walked south on US-1 to the Green Parrot Bar. After a drink, we walked further to the Hemingway House for a self-guided tour. Then we walked past the lighthouse to the southernmost point, only 90 miles to Cuba from here. Next, we jumped on the Duval Loop free bus to the Eden House, a place Rosie and I have stayed on our many trips to Key West. From the Eden House, we walked to Kermit's Key West Lime Shop for a piece of Key West Lime Pie, chocolate dipped. Mmm, mmm. We'd had our dessert. 
now it was time for a light lunch at the Hog's Breath Saloon. We then headed back to the ship on the free trolley. Back on the ship, we could see that Mallory Square was packed with people waiting for the sunset. We saw that spectacular sunset as we sailed away from Key West. We had drinks in the Diamond Lounge, followed by another fun-filled, spectacular dinner. We had a great day in Key West. Good morning, Tuesday, February 20th, a day at sea. After our morning walk, we attended a cruise critic meet and mingle. Hey, we were winners. After the meet and mingle, the group stopped back to see our cabin. Oh, we got our block for 350 cruise credits. At 1130, we had lunch at Azumi an Asian-style specialty restaurant. It was fantastic. In the afternoon, we had a champagne and chocolate party. What a great way to spend a relaxing sea day. It was formal night. We started with drinks in the Diamond Lounge. For dinner, we all started with escargot. Some of us followed that with shrimp cocktail. I'm glad we had the naughty button along. It was needed. For dinner, some of us had beef. Others had a pork shank. I'm not sure if Bolando found us humorous, but we sure had a good time. We all had calorie-free desserts. Not. After another losing trip to the casino, we got back to the cabin to find that the rabbit had stolen the remote control. Good morning, Wednesday, February 21st. Welcome to Cozumel, and happy birthday, Tom. Rosie and I started the day with a walk on deck five for one hour. At 10.15, we left the ship for our shore excursion. Our shore excursion for today is the Cozumel Bar Hop, a bus tour of four beach bars on the wild side, the east side of Cozumel. Our first stop was Punta Morena on a luxury beach where you can enjoy shaded hammocks and wonderful drinks. Our next stop, Coconuts, up some stairs perched on a seaside cliff. Coconuts offers breathtaking views, amazing food, and spectacular drinks. <laughs> the bar hop plus drinks creates amusing situations. Back on the party bus, there's more fun to be had. The next bar, Playa Bonita home of the giant cocktail. Need I say more? It's Tom's birthday, so of course we have to have the mariachi band play for him. The drinks were flowing, and we were all having a fabulous time. The last bar on the hop, Rasta's, home of the best coconut shrimp on the island. After four bars and over three hours, it was time to hop back on the party bus and head back to the ship. We met Craig and Kendra in the Diamond Lounge for drinks, and they joined us for dinner. Good morning, Thursday, February 22nd. We're on our way to Belize City, and it's time for Rosie and I to take our morning walk. At 10 o'clock, we boarded a tender to take us to Starfish Island for a beach day. We found some chairs that gave us both sun and shade. A panoramic shot 
of Starfish Island. There was a bar on the island, but who needs that when your friends Wendy and Richard are sitting nearby and you can beg, borrow, or steal a beer? The rain moved in and we had a brief intermission, and then we had lunch. We enjoyed a couple hours after lunch on the island, and then we headed back to the ship. In the evening, we met for drinks in the Diamond Lounge, and then we had another fabulous dinner. Good morning! Friday, February 23rd, we're docked in Costa Maya, Mexico, and it's time for Rosie and I to walk. Rosie and I stayed on the ship while our friends went, uh, shopping? Our friends got back on board just before the big rainstorm came. As we started to sail away, it was time for a famous wine party. As we sailed away, we moved the party inside the cabin. From the cabin, we moved the wine party to the Diamond Lounge, and then to dinner. Soup as a starter in a glass? Yep, thanks for the idea, Karen Frazier. It was lobster night, so we all had lobster, and also three extra for the table. After another quick losing trip to the casino, we came back to the cabin to find a bat, a towel bat. Good morning, Saturday, February 24th, a sea day. Rosie and I started the day with a walk, and then a galley tour. He makes all different kinds of bread, every day, 12 hours a day. I'll have a side of bacon, please. The galley is organized chaos, but that's how you serve 8,000 meals a day. At 11.45, we attended lunch with an officer. We ate with the head of housekeeping. At 4.45, we attended a bridge tour, and both Rosie and I had our pictures taken with the captain. We had drinks in the Diamond Lounge, and then we enjoyed our last excellent dinner on the ship. Good, no, 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 wait, it's a bad morning. Sunday, February 25th, we're getting kicked off the ship today. Our cruise is over. We checked our bags in at Southwest Airlines, where bags always fly free, for our flight to Milwaukee. We had a wonderful cruise with Wendy and Tom, Christine and Myron, and Dale. We had memories to last a lifetime. Video by Bill Raffle. Photos by Bill Raffle. Other photos used with permission from Wendy, Dale, Christine, and Wendy. Music by Kevin McLeod.